Hello, it's TGIF Friday. Anyway, it's so hot outside that I'm not doing anything outside. I'm going to stay in my house today because it's hot. Went out and got a few groceries, but that's it. So, we talk about, you know, um, you know, stocking up your food, you know, get ready because things could happen bad and all that good stuff. But you know what? We, we talked about a couple of weeks ago how to cook things that we have in our pantry. But what about if we don't have any spices? So maybe we should learn how to make some of our seasonings ourselves. So I'm going to do a couple today, and I'm going to show you how I store them. And let's see how they work, because I do like actually making some of my own spices. So the first one is going to be the fry seasoning. And actually, I'm going to double this one because Jack wants some too because he loves this. So, now I remind you, it's going to be double of everything that I say. So it says two tablespoons of salt. So of course I'm going to do four. We made this other one once that you had to keep in the refrigerator, but you guys, oh my gosh, was it so good. It was so good. Yeah. We were just trying a couple different ones. And then you need a tablespoon of paprika. So I'm going to use two. I love paprika on my fries anyway, so this is working out great. Right. And then two teaspoons of garlic powder. So many different ones here that I tell you. Two teaspoons, right? So we're going to do four. Now I'm going to put it all in one jar when I'm done, and then I'll split it with Jack when we're done. And then a tablespoon, or yeah, a tablespoon of, of pepper. So we're going to do two. Never tried this pepper before. I had it given to me the other day. And I figured it's worth trying. I've never had this kind though. Because usually, if you guys notice, I only use my grater thing over there. But every once in a while I have hole so that um, I can use it in recipes like this. Because nobody wants to grind for a half hour to get two tablespoons of pepper. <laughs> Alright, so two tablespoons of pepper. A tablespoon of parsley. So we're going to do two of that as well. That's about one and a half right there, so. Kind of just flew out at me. An eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. So two eighth is a quarter. Much past that, don't ask, because I'm really bad with fractions. That was my downfall in school. I know the easy ones, though. <laughs> I don't know why. It was just the hardest thing for me to learn. I just used to have the worst time. It's crazy. And then we need an eighth of a teaspoon of garlic salt. And you know, you guys, if there's something that you like better, like if you want it really, really spicy, you know what? Your kitchen, your rules, do what you want to do. Nobody tells you how to run your kitchen. Well, at least they shouldn't. They don't mind. But my husband doesn't cook, so he knows if he gets in my way, he doesn't get dinner. So he doesn't usually bother me. And then you need an eighth teaspoon of celery salt. So then you're going to mix it all together. And you guys, when you make these at home for yourself, when you mix them together, they are just beautiful. They're not anything like what you get at the store. The store is kind of ugly, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. These are just so pretty and you can actually see the spices in them and all that good stuff. It's just amazingly beautiful. And then you can obviously... You can, um, you know, triple them, quadruple them, whatever you want with the recipe. 
Isn't that gorgeous? And then I'm going to put it into a jar. And then this one I'll share with Jack for later. I'll put them in the little tiny ones that we have. So there is our fry seasoning. And honestly, it's really, really, really good. So I usually make a little bit more, but I'm doing just the small ones right now to just show you guys. All right, the next one is a burger seasoning. Who doesn't like a nice, yummy, tasty burger? So you're going to use three tablespoons of paprika. Someone just walked in. Quiet, Jack. <laughs> Jack just walked in. What's up, Jack? This is cheap. One good friend and broke. That's not good. All right, three tablespoons of paprika, two tablespoons of salt, Jack's like happy because he's not cooking today. Today's his roommate's day to cook. I'm happy because we're going to have a seafood meal. His girlfriend can't have it, so. When she's not around, we can have it. Yay! <laughs> and then you're going to have a tablespoon of garlic powder. And a tablespoon of onion powder. Now my onion powder, I make all my own. I dehydrate the um, onions and then I run it through a, a nice fine sifter so my onion powder is all my own. I might show you some of that because I have a bunch of frozen that I need to probably do something with. So maybe one night I'll do those. And then we need another um, tablespoon of black pepper. Good thing I got this given to me, huh? A lot of this is going to be used up. All right, so we're going to mix that together. Oh, that looks delicious, you guys. It looks really, really good. I want to thank you guys, by the way. I really do appreciate you guys, you know, hanging with me and whatever. I do appreciate that. Um, I'm up to 133. I did get to a point where I was at 134 yesterday, and then somebody slipped away. I don't know who it was. So, <laughs> so now I'm going to put this one in a little jelly jar. Look, it's going to fill that right up. And obviously, you don't need a whole lot when you're doing these, you know what I mean? Um, because you only use just a little bit so this will go a very long ways like we made these for the, these size for the fries and Jack and I probably made fries four or five times before we had to make it again so this is the burger seasoning I do have lids and everything for it. I just forgot to get them all out I will before we go now the next one is homemade chili seasoning and you know I've never made this one before and I thought about it, and I was looking at it, and I'm like, you know what? That's everything I put in my chili. <laughs> so this way it's already made up. So this one you're going to use. Did I get it out? I think I did. Yes. You're going to use a quarter of a cup of chili powder. I hate when they stick to the bottom of the... So a quarter cup of chili powder. I've got a bigger one. I just didn't get that out. I found this one. I thought, well, you better use that out. <clears throat> so a quarter cup of chili powder. And you're going to use a tablespoon of paprika. You know, I'm surprised. I bought a great big thing of paprika, and I cannot believe how fast I've actually went through it. I never even knew what paprika was before, and now I just absolutely love it. Love, love, love it. And then you need a tablespoon of cumin. Now, if there's something else that you guys want to try, ooh, that's way too much of that. 
<laughs> just a little bit more. It just poured right out of me. All right. If there's something you guys want to try, but you're like, nah, let her do it. <laughs> I'll try it. You know, if it's something that I can do, I'll try it. And let you know, and I'll be honest with you on if it was nasty or not. Because sometimes things are just absolutely nasty. And you don't want them again, so. Now you're going to need two teaspoons of onion powder. Okay. And a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I just had that, I was going to say. Cayenne powder, I should say. One teaspoon. And again, like I say, if you guys want something to make it stronger, you know, even if, if you like really spicy chili, you could do the crushed red pepper in here with that. Oh, I bet you it'd be really good. Anyway, <laughs> four teaspoons of salt. And what I like about this is, you know what? You know what's in your spices. And you can add or take away or whatever because you know if you ever look at some of these spices like I tried not to get any really gross ones but there's all kinds of extra stuff in there you know to keep it preserved and whatever and I'm like what exactly are we eating you know what I mean I never used to think like that till I started canning and then I'm thinking you know um there's a lot of stuff we don't know what's in our food and if you can't pronounce it that's probably not a good thing and two teaspoons of pepper Whoops. Now, depending on how much chili you make at a time, you know, would be how much, how often this would last. I use a lot of chili powder in mine. Jack's brother says because I don't use a lot of garlic or anything in it. He said that's not really chili, but never had anybody complain about my chili. <laughs> not ever. Alrighty, that one looks very pretty too. Now if you don't have canning jars, you can do them in baby food jars, you can do them in plastic baggies. You know, um, I've been saving all of my things like this and then I've been reusing them. Like this obviously used to be a cheese thing and I use it now for my paprika. So you can reuse, you know the government's getting all kinds of money, kickbacks from, you know, everything that we recycle and then we go out and pay a bunch of money to buy recyclable things to store our food in why not just keep that food that stuff and reuse it ourselves I think anytime you can reuse something I think that's a great plan all right I'm gonna take a sniff of that one because I've never made this one before so That smells so... I feel like if I added tomatoes right now, I'd be chili heaven. So now let me show you what I do with my stuff then. I get lids for them. And then you just put the rings on them. And then you can get the pretty little... Um, they're little caps. This is one of those lids. We bought some jars this year, and they only fit on those jars. That's it. So every time I come across one, I throw it away. Because it's just a pain. And then you can actually, if you want, you can take um, just a marker. If you want to keep reusing it. You know, it's funny, I just had my marker out, too. There we go. Alright, this one was the chili seasoning. So you can write on your, your jar, if you're going to keep using it for that, just write it right on your jar. Chili seasoning, so you know exactly what it is. So I will be back later with dinner. Um, it's going to be something I haven't cooked in a long, long time, but it's yummy. So um, thanks for coming along. I am having a good time, and I hope you guys are too. And you 
have a very blessed day and be a blessing to someone. And again, thanks for watching.